Christian Church's online sermon. We have been looking into Revelation and see all the things that God has planned as a result of all the things mankind has done. This is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created and the day that the Lord God made the heavens and the earth. It starts off with God. He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. In Hebrews 1 it says, By faith we understand that the world were prepared by the word of God. <clears throat> now we've gone into the word of God many times and many examples. So we understand it's God, the creator, and it's his word, language from his mind. In Exodus, speaking the language of God, it says, I am who I am. God says this to Moses and the people of Israel. I am who I am. Thus shall you say to the sons of Israel, I am God has sent uh, me to you. Uh, Moses says this. I am the one and only. The next verse in Revelation after we did three is Revelation 4 and 5. 4 says, John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you from him who was and who is to come. Talks about the seven churches and from the seven spirits. So in the very beginning, God speaks about the seven days. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and he rested on the seventh day. Seven is very important. It says seven days, six days to create and rest on the seventh. Seven spirits completes the whole spirits before the throne. Seven is God's number. And we also learned that the covenant of keeping the seventh day Sabbath, it sunsets, it's darkness. At that point, we have completed a covenant. There's the sign of the covenant. And by keeping that sign that God gives every week to people, and the ones that keep that sign, God completes this a covenant of eternal life. Seven is the day. And so it starts off with that. Now a man has a discharge. He caught off, uh, count off himself, seven days. Seven appears in many, many respects in every way. And he bathes his water and he'll become clean. So seven is mentioned in more ways than one, and it's a major subject, and it's the thing God talks about right away. In the next verse 5, he says to them, uh, The firstborn of the dead, the ruler of the kings on the earth, and released us from our sins by his blood. This is the part, after starting off, this is God, this is the Creator, and the blood. For, in Leviticus, it says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, to make atonement for your souls, this is the blood by reason of life that makes atonement. All the way back then, it says, The life of the flesh is in the blood. Life is the blood. It says, But, in Genesis, it says, You shall not eat with, uh, eat, uh, with its life. That is the blood. We are not to eat 
a drink of the blood. Drink of the blood. And Matthew says, For this is my blood, the covenant, which is poured out for the forgiveness of sin. So the blood is the beginning step in life, eternal life, the forgiveness of sins. And then when they did the Passover back in those days, or now even, the wine represents the blood and the ceremony. Drinking the wine is ingesting life like Jesus' blood on the cross. We don't drink the blood, we drink this symbol for the blood, the wine. This is the blood of the covenant which has been poured out for many, the wine and the Passover. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and says, Behold the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you in the accordance of the people. This blood that was sprinkled on them, drunk, not drunk, drunk by them, drunk by them, the covenant of being God's people throughout the ages. The blood is life. Romans says, God displayed publicly in his blood through faith. Jesus' blood, his righteousness. He's passed over the sins that prevent eternal life previously committed. In Hebrews, it goes on to continue to say, all things are cleansed with blood. And without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. Jesus gave up the life of blood in him for us. So much thou, having been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. Might say that it sanctifies the people through his blood. To obey Christ and be sprinkled with his blood. And if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, the fellowship, the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin and gives us eternal life. Amen. Thank you for watching and listening.